because I always interrupt you. Yeah, and go on with your bad self. Yeah. Hey, like that, I just interrupted you. Oh, you did. But it was cool, though. You said go on with your bad self. Shit, no, what can I say? I'm feeling myself today. What's up, players? What is going on, guys? Today, we're going to talk about a little thing called guilt. And in particular, the guilt associated with living a good life, going on vacation, uh, you know, disconnecting from your phone and social media, and the guilt that we've kind of built up in society. I feel like we haven't sat down here in like a week and a half. I like this place better than that big white room. I felt like I was in office space. Yeah, wasn't that cool? They need to work on their co-working spaces here. I know. I mean, they're set up like offices i think i was expecting a co-working space to like you know you walk in and there's like people playing video games and like yeah. everyone's where there's no tables it's just beanbag chairs big bowls of peanut m ms yes yeah. obviously that's like i think that's like one of my main things from living in austin the capital factory i know if i went there like they just had mad peanut m ms i was like <laughs> i'm gonna stop by there today dude most startup culture though god that's a topic in and of itself like the reverting companies reverting to like basically play like you walk into like a google office and it literally looks like an adult daycare mm -hmm. you know like i'm not saying it's a bad thing i think it's actually a good thing to be playing it's just interesting that we have that expectation of the workplace now because i walk in like i see a startup and i'm like all right, well, you know, do you, you got to have like a pool table, Red Bull, beer on tap. Ping pong table. It's the only way you're promoted. The best micro brews. The yes. best micro brews. Yeah, totally. And like you get vested in the company, you get like percentages of the company. Mad stock options. Yeah, for real. For sure. So, bro, what are we talking about today? We are talking about guilt today. And uh, how about I'll, I'll frame why we're talking about it. Yeah, go ahead. And then you hop in, because I always interrupt you. Yeah, go on with your bad self. Yeah. Hey, like that, I just interrupted you. Oh, you did. But it was cool, though. You said go on with your bad self. <laughs> you know, what can I say? I'm feeling myself today. This guy makes me laugh. Uh, so guilt. 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 What do I mean by guilt? Guilt, I'm just referring to, in this case, we want to talk about the guilt of living an awesome life. And to further elaborate, um, a lot of people have been, a lot of people think we've been programmed so much that you have to be grinding and working. And if you're not, you know, if you're not moving towards 10 different goals, then you're being stagnant and you're not, you know, living your life properly and you're missing out on things. And you're just, you're just, you're never like really getting there. You're not enough. And it creates this feeling of, of guilt. And the example that we wanted to use was this weekend, we went on a, impromptu private island beach vacation and the guilt we want to talk about the guilt that came up that we were self-aware of of like oh man i'm on this island you know i like completely disconnected for a few days i'm starting to feel guilty about that and i think that's a super important topic that a lot of people deal with and it affects uh it, basically like living the life you want but it also spills over into like you know, your fitness, body, uh, business relationships, stuff like that. So I'm going to shut up now, Brandon. Do you want to? Yeah. Dude, I actually didn't feel much guilt this weekend. I think this is something you experienced a lot more, which is interesting. Yes. Well, no, no, no. So I didn't, I felt a tiny bit of guilt. Three years ago, I would have felt guilty and still like done it. There's a difference. Even though like, I, I would still feel guilty. I still can always been the person that's like, well, I don't care. I'm at the beach. Like, fuck it. I'm just, I'm just going to feel good about this. Mm -hmm. This time I felt like slightly guilty, but it was a, it, it was a, like I recognized it. It wasn't an actual feeling that I let yeah, transcend that barrier to like, Oh, I feel guilty. I recognize like, man, I would have felt guilty in like the, you know, past yeah. years. You felt it kind of creeping up and you're like, yes. yeah, motherfucker, get out of here. Yeah. Well, dude, that's, that's what this dude, conversation was about. Creeping up behind me. What does he look like? See? Oh, dude, he's like a big globby guy going, I, I'm guilt. I'm guilt. Hey, yo, I'm, I'm guilt. Or like, nah, he's like, oh, I'm guilt. I'm like disgusting. Like, nah. smells like socks. Dude, I fucking hate him. He's such a dickhead. Guilt's a dick. Yeah. Guilt's like fucking Brian. 
Brian. Brian. So you feel guilt, I think, for like two reasons. Mm-hmm. Actually, maybe more, but this is just what I'm going to say right now because that's how I feel. Tell me my I problems. Think, I think you feel guilt because... <clears throat> you better watch out. I think you feel guilt because you either did something that's in misalignment with who you said you wanted to be, so you're out of integrity with who you are, who you want to be, or you're comparing yourself to someone else, which is kind of the same thing. You're still feeling misaligned because you're saying that you want to be a version of yourself that is as good as another person. But for simplicity's sake, I feel like it's like you either like... I sort of disagree with that. Okay. Well, I'd love to hear. Well, I agree with that. You're comparing yourself to something and the something is like a preconceived notion of what you should be doing. But like, I don't think of it. I want to distinguish between like, comparing yourself to someone like, Oh, this person or this group of people. I don't think it's really that it's just the societal programming of guilt. Like mine, for example, um, the reason that it would creep up is because yeah, for sure. I'm just saying like, I think there's different types and like mine is derived from being in environments for, you know, like more than 15 years where like it was championed to be constantly working hard and be constantly busy and Mm -hmm. doing something. And like, so that guilt is not so much from being like, Oh man, this person or this old friend is here and I'm not, it's like the, the whole feeling of like, man, like it's Monday, I'm supposed to be at work right now. Like I'm on a beach because it's definitely not out of integrity because like my integrity is, I want to be on a beach. Yeah. yeah. But like, so it's a comparison though. So can you, would you say that it's like you feel guilty because you're either out of alignment with who you said you wanted to be or because you're comparing yourself to someone or something, there's a comparison going on. Like, cause that's where the context comes from, right? Like being in an office. Yeah. 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 No, I'm saying it's not from the integrity. It's from the comparison, but I'm just distinguishing between uh, comparing myself to someone and comparing yourself to a set of values mm-hmm. that we've talked about before. I'm really like, com- that is my guilt is derived from comparing myself to that, that whole existence. Yeah. So it's not like one, two, or even a group of people. It's like that, it, like a way of life, you know, mm-hmm. that I feel sometimes like that's what I used to think. That's how I should be living. So that's, that creeps up in my Yeah, for sure. And it's so fucking silly. It's retarded. It's stupid. You don't need to give in to it. Uh, well, because, like, for example, I told you, like, my buddy who's in the fitness space as well hit me up the other day. And I was like, yo, man, like, having a hard time finding, like, my groove here where I can, like, make money and, like, f- actually enjoy what I'm doing. And I'm feeling guilty because I feel like I'm not making as much money as maybe other people would if I'm trying to pursue my passion or my bliss or stuff I care about. And that's a comparison for sure. Yeah. So that's like an example of a comparison, but it's so common. I think it happens like in the corporate scene, like, oh shit, like, yo, my boy that I went to college with, like he's the same age as me. He's already like a level up ahead of me. And like, you feel guilty that like you haven't achieved that yet. For sure, man. But what about the guilt? I totally agree with that. But like, what about there? I think there's many types of guilt, but specifically Like since we, I think we should talk about like what we did this weekend and like, I'm referring specifically to the guilt of like, everyone always talks about like you, you work hard to go on vacations, to have nice things, to do what you want. And then when you go on those vacations, the guilty feeling of like, I'm on vacation, Mm -hmm. man, I quit my job and I'm taking six months off. Like I'm lazy. Like that guilt. What's that programming that like having fun's like a bad thing, dude. Oh my God. What's up with that? As a kid, this is not calling out my parents. I like love them dearly. Mom and dad. I freaking love you guys. Seriously. I love you. But I feel like much of growing up as a kid, I was influenced by like, dude, it was definitely said to me before as a kid that like you like having fun all the time is a ridiculous idea. Like you are not going to be a contributing member of society, a good human. If you're just, if your goal is to have fun all the time, like we got issues, like you're not going to turn out. Okay. You know, do there be a lot of people who I think who would sit at this table with us and like, be like, you should not be having fun all the time. They'd be like, that's not what, that's not what life's about. Like a lot of people hard grain this because like 
they're conditioned by their past experiences to say like the way to make a living, the way to live a good, a good, honest life, a good, honest living is by doing shit that sucks. Like I have to grind. And I told you, we had a conversation last night. We're like, I realized that I, in the past and said, you know, I'm grinding a lot. And like grinding is like not fun actually for me. Grinding is not cool, which is why I hate some of these motivational videos. Like, I, I was listening to eight tracks last night and I put on these like uh, this motivational mix. I was just curious what they had and they're so guilt driven. They're like, are you, if you're not number one, then you need to step it up. If you sleep in instead of doing the work you need to do, if you're not where you want to be, you need to start working harder. And it's like, it kind of perpetuates this guilt. That's like, wait a minute, wait a minute. You guys, are we doing this to live a happy life? Or are we doing this to get some, you know, blank result? That really means nothing. Like, who the fuck cares about that result? I care about the feeling. And I think that we get programmed to feel guilty that we're not getting a result, even if, like, we have found the feeling. Yeah, right? even if we don't know what the result. Dude, so true, man. That's so true. That's, like, that resonates a lot with me because I think we're at the point now, like, even to, to earlier, I recognize the guilt this time, but honestly, like, I don't feel bad anymore. And that realization was like, dude, that's what Zen Dude Fitness is. Like, that's what you're helping to teach people. You can't feel Mm -hmm. guilty. Like, you're teaching people to live this life. Mm -hmm. And because that's what we want to live. You hit the nail, like, right on the head, man. So many people, like, keep going and going and going. And, like, they're so particular with, like, reaching their goals. And they're so self-aware about where they are with their goals. Mm -hmm. But they're not self-aware with, like, what happens when I hit this goal. Mm -hmm. You know, like... If I'm not having the, the the feeling that I want to have, like, what's the point of this? Any of it. And that's like the the self awareness. I think is so important to always like come back to like, all right, why am I doing this? Like, what feeling do I get from doing this? You yeah. Know? Like, and taking action and doing things that create sustainable happiness. And I think that's like what we're trying to to share with people is like every day we're always like, how can we have the best experience possible? And yeah, if you feel guilty, then like we wouldn't be aligned in that. Hell yeah, man. So that's like an aha moment to like really realize that it's, it's about you having the best experience all the time. And if if you're feeling guilty, like you can't do that. So true, man. Well, what do we do this for? Like I always come back to like the basics when we ask ourselves these questions of like, why you do anything i think it's important to ask yourself more and more and more and more is what i'm doing fulfilling me yeah because like if you're if you're going through and achieving all this and like doing a lot of what you're supposed to be doing but like never really appreciating it you're just as bad as the person who's not taking action at all and feels shitty and depressed about not taking action you're just on the opposite end of the spectrum you know mm-hmm. for sure man i had something to say but I lost it. No, it's cool. I'm like really hyped right now. You're pretty hyped? Because like, yeah, dude, I think this is a super important, like, yeah, because I saw myself break through the barrier. That's what I was trying to say. Like, I witnessed myself this weekend have an experience where like a thought came through my head Mm. when we were in the water, like as the sun was setting. And I was just like, that little voice was like. I don't know, man. Like, how do you feel right now? Like, do you feel good? And I was like, fuck yeah, I feel good. Whereas before I might've been like questioned that and been like, man, I do. I remember when I was in high school, my uncle Mike invited me on. No, 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 I was in college. I had an internship with this uh, senator. My uncle Mike said, do you want to come to Barbados? And I was like, nope, I have to like go to this internship. And it was such this big thing at the time. Mm-hmm. And I remember being like, no, I can't go to Barbados. Like I have an, I have an internship that doesn't mm-hmm. pay me. Like it's super important. <laughs> okay. Dude, I can't believe I ever did unpaid internships. I did some shitty unpaid internships. And I mean, I mean, I think there's good ones out there, but mine weren't good. Anyhow, tangent. Yeah, yeah, dude. What I love about what we do and what we try to teach is like we're personifying what it means to live the ultimate life experience for us and that means like you don't can't feel guilt in the ultimate life experience like you have to find ways to move through that and personify the feelings that you want to feel every day and that means like you pro deprogram yourself from feeling guilty 
and just do things that you feel aligned with so it doesn't happen and it's like it forces us to do that yeah which is like i think if i had just like if i was just like a personal trainer and i just like went to a gym every day and like trained some people like i wouldn't have to hold that kind of integrity but this is cool because it forces us to be like that's very true man and this isn't like an easy concept i think it's like it's much more it's much easier said than done like this is like layers and the reason I was so psyched this weekend was because like that was a big win for me because there have been so many moments where I've been deprogramming, be deprogram, de, deprogramming my. I can only say words if I sing them. True fact. Um, I was deprogramming my brain like incrementally, and I finally hit it. Like that was proof that I hit a place where I was like, I don't feel. I see the guilt, but I don't feel it at all. So that was like, yes, like this can be done. And that's like the message I wanted to deliver to people, like the guilt that you feel when you're 15 minutes late for work. Like, do you really think your company is going to crumble? Like, think about, dude, oh my God, fucking traffic. Like people, when they're late for work, Mm -hmm. like it's the straight up zombie apocalypse, bro. Like you see people on New York subways, they're like, I need to, I am eight minutes late. And some other like ladies, like I am 15 minutes late. Like they're (laughs) like, people lose it. And it's like the guilt over something that, that it like is totally unnecessary. And so like little things like that, like you start with, like that, like I kind of started deprogramming myself. If I was late, like it's okay. Like I can still get my shit done. And you kind of move on to like different things. Like I told my friends I wasn't going to go out and drink tonight and I don't feel bad for it. I'm just going to do my thing. And like, you know, I don't want to spend time with that person because they're negative. And I, I told them that I don't want to go to dinner with them and I don't feel bad about it. Mm-hmm. You know, like it's little like leveling up. Yeah. Like you say that gets you to that point of like, I don't feel guilty about having a great life yeah you know? just do what you want to do and don't feel bad about it such a theme it's, it comes up all the time. yeah all the time just do what you want to do and don't feel bad about it and i would just ask anyone watching this right now like on a daily basis do you do what you want to do and if sometimes like you're doing what you want to do like do you feel bad about it because you shouldn't like it's what you want to do just don't hurt anyone else as long as like you're doing what you want to do and it's not harming anyone like yeah, like we talk about like, you know, having integrity with who you want to be and like making sure you're not hurting one. Man, there's like a, so many examples that we can bring this to, you know, work, relationships, like money, workouts, like so many people feel so guilty about skipping workouts where it's like we always talk like, yeah, you should work out consistently or feel really guilty about like, you know, eating something that they think they shouldn't. But I feel like that guilt leads them into this downward spiral that's like worse than anything that they're ever not doing or are doing for sure well that's like the confidence thing like you were talking about if you're doing something that you feel guilty about then you shouldn't be doing it if you feel like no like i'm cool with this then you're fine because if you're doing something consistently and you're like this makes me feel like shit then your confidence will decrease oh, yeah. so you sure. can either choose like be in, be like live in integrity. It's a combination. It's like live in integrity of whatever makes you feel good. That doesn't harm other people. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's, it's such a simple concept that like, I, I realized on a lot of these episodes, we talk about a lot of the same topics and I was like, man, we should think about like, blah. and I'm like, no, dude, I will be, I'm glad. Pound yes. I am very glad to like be the dudes who pound into people the, the power of being present in every moment. Mm-hmm. The dudes who like pound into people the power of like do what you want. Yeah. Just be do what you want. And this is my like greatest wish. I feel like this is like a big reason why I want to do what we're doing. And for my own life as well, I want to personify this. Is that I understand that like everyone has these life experiences, right? Like mine like goes like this. And there's like there's all this stuff in my world. And your girl's like that. And there's all this stuff in your world. Yo, B, you know? Look at my life. I just look at my life. All these beams. And like everyone has these beams. But I feel like a lot of people's like beams, like off in the future, like they don't really know what they're trying to create. Um, and it's just like their like beam color is just kind of shitty because they don't really know who they are. It feels very uncertain. So I think a lot of people maybe listen to these conversations for the first time. And they're like, oh, like it sounds like some positive stuff. I can kind of get on board with this. It sounds good. 
But I want people to really take this framework and just apply it. Can you imagine having like seven plus billion people all on a mission? Like what we could accomplish in this world? Like if everyone was like... That'd be utopia. Oh my God. It, that's what it takes. Like, because we were talking about the other day, like we are going to serve an audience. We're going to serve people who can relate to us. Um, and that doesn't mean we need to go start, you know, volunteering at an orphanage. Cause like we're serving our people here. And like some people might feel guilty. They're like, Oh, like it's another kind of right? guilt. Totally. Kind of guilt. Like, I should be man. like helping out another way. or I should be donating more money. It's like, yo, if you are on your life mission and you know who you are, what you want to do and how to personify that. If you're doing that, if you're doing that every day, you don't owe the world anything else. Just be on your mission and like, just do that. Like do that. And there's going to be so many people intersecting. Like we're in this space where like, we're helping people improve their health. And like, that's our mission, but there might be someone else. Like they might be like, Oh, like I get this health thing, but I don't really want to talk about it. Like, but like, I should probably help people with this. They don't need to feel guilty about that. Cause maybe they're really driven to like teach kids how to like do poetry or something, you know, like we're all on this own and I want everyone doing their own. And I want everyone just finding their no, man, this guy's got his ch- and then that goes like on her ch- and I'm like, ch- and it's, ch- and it's, ch- yeah. And so many people are lost. Like I had a call, uh, the day with the, a woman who she's just like, you know what? I've just kind of been sputtering along the last few years. I feel like I need some, some direction and some more stability. And it's like, I can give that to her, but she has it within her already. You know, yeah, you, you. you can give it to her in the form of what we're saying now. Like, Tell her what she already knows. Oh, let's like get rid of some of that guilt and some of these like pre- preconceived notions of how you're supposed to live, how you're supposed to treat your body. And let's ask you what you really want and just start doing that. And they'll be like, Oh, Brandon, you helped me so much. I'm like, you could have done that on your own, but I'm happy to guide you if you need someone to like, I steer you onto the path. Cause it's like, there's this path that everyone can go on if they choose to get on it. Yeah, man. It's crazy how self-reliance, self-awareness, self-reliance all ties into like confidence and like how you experience guilt. Mm -hmm. Um, Because like the more self-reliant you are, the less guilt you're going to experience. So for example, I was telling you last night, um, I had a thought come up into my head like, man, it's one in the morning and I'm still like awake. Like I was up late. Like we we both had a very productive day yesterday. Mm -hmm. And even still, when I was going to bed, I was like, I kind of want to watch a noisy documentary on Chirac, dude, Chicago, noisy documentary. Chirac. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Super G. I watched Billions last night. Is that episode, new episode good? Uh, I think they're all out. I watched episode three. Why watch billions when you could watch millions um anyway self-reliance and self-confidence yeah like i was thinking to myself man i should really listen to like an audiobook or like basically i found myself having the thought of like i need something external to validate that everything i'm currently doing in my life and business is going well Mm -hmm. and i caught myself and i was like no, dude, you don't need a fucking audiobook. Like, watch the noisy documentary and like lay down and go to sleep. Like, you had a super productive day. Stop feeling like you're not enough. Like, you kicked ass today. Yeah. And I went to bed like, fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. Time to get, time yeah, to lay yeah. down. Wake up tomorrow and do the same thing. And I think, like, we can. You can read all the books. You can listen to all the audiobooks. Like, you can constantly be in the state of needing to obtain more information but really the switch happens when you tell yourself when you don't call someone like brandon and i when you tell yourself like okay it's there there's no strategy you just decide to be cool like even as we talk about confidence like uh derek sivers said this in one podcast i forget tim ferris asked him like what how do you like your tips for becoming more confident great response he's like you know, it's one of those things, man, like I got to a certain age and I just, I decided, you just decide, like you just have to decide. And I was like, no one ever says that. Like no one ever, everyone wants to sell you their tips for not feeling guilty and improving, blah, blah, blah. But honestly, it's like, you just decide. Yeah. Like you don't, you don't switch the feeling. Like sometimes I still feel the guilt. I, I, I recognize the guilt, but I've given myself permission to like, what? I don't care. Whatever. I'm not going to let myself feel that because that's a shitty feeling that I don't want to have. Yeah. It's not necessary for sure. So ask us, I mean, 
dude, I think just creating the identity. It's like, I'll always come back to that. Like create your identity that you want to live in because once you have that and you're like, well, my identity doesn't include me feeling guilty for things that I want to do. So yeah, I don't have to feel guilty, Mm -hmm. you know? And guilt can be, I think, maybe helpful at times if you are out of alignment with who you said you wanted to be. Like if we just like didn't work for like a week, if we didn't do anything for Zen Dude and like we just ate donuts, like I would feel guilty. But I, that's good because, like, I want to be healthy and I want a successful business. I want to help people. So guilt can kind of guide you back. For sure. Just, like, be self-aware. Understand that, like, um, if the guilt isn't serving you to put you back in alignment with the highest you, then, um, yeah, just let it go. So true, man. That's all. It's all self-awareness. All this shit is self-awareness because I totally agree with you. Just, like, a, a level of anxiety is healthy. Like, I am sometimes like I do feel that I am as driven and as like determined as I am because my anxiety is like, you're not enough. Like you have to keep going. Mm -hmm. And a level of that isn't bad. Just like a level of guilt isn't bad. Cause if you don't give a shit at all, then you're like, you know, then you're in some, you're in trouble on the opposite end of the spectrum. So I think like what it really comes down to again is just like the more you know yourself the more confidence you'll have in the decisions you make and you'll have more confidence when you know like, okay, I've had my fun and I didn't feel guilty. Now it's time to rein it in. So this weekend, the thoughts that came up into my head are like, we have this business, we have this coaching group, like we need to be in there like this, you know, that, that good part of my anxiety and, and guilt. That's like, that's why like we hustle so much. Cause it's like, Oh, we have to like, make everyone like be super successful and lose weight and like love us. So that's a good thing. But that also is like when we told people that we were going away, I was like, Oh my God, if we don't have internet, I can't talk to the group. And if I can't talk to the group, then everyone's going to like, they're going to like, everything's going to fall apart. And like, what a ridiculous thing to say. Like all these people who are, who are in our group, shout out to the ZDF coaching community. We love you guys. Like, they know what to do. Like they're killing it in there. Like they have their shit together. And like, it's the same as most of the audience. If you're, you know, in, in a nine to five working environment, the guilt associated with, for example, not checking your email. That's what I kind of equated it to. Like I couldn't check my email or, or reply to posts as often as I wanted. And like, I remember in corporate America, like I was definitely cool with going Friday to Monday without looking at email, but like, I knew it was, I didn't feel good about it because I knew that people knew that I didn't check my email. So they were like, oh, so like you just come in Monday through Friday then? Like, and I wanted to be mm-hmm. like, yes. Yes, I do. Don't even make me feel bad about it. Like, you have so much my life already. Like, dude, if you're answering emails on Saturday, like, I'll kill you. That is, <laughs> oops, you should be with your friends and like not emailing about emailing to set up a meeting about a meeting. Yeah. You know? Oh, man. Yeah, I think it gets celebrated though, right? Like yeah, being on your shit. Yeah, bro, grinding. Grinding. Let's do yeah, an man. episode on grinding. All I do is hustle and grind. Hustle and grind. Hustle and grind. Hustle and grind. Grinding's stupid. Grinding. Having is stupid. fun is cool. Yeah, dude. What the fuck? Like grinding has a negative connotation. When someone says grinding to me, yeah. like grinding is not something, unless like. You know, I got my girlfriend in front of me and I'm like, oh, would you like to grind with me? But like grinding and when I think of it as working, whenever someone's like, hey, you want to come and grind? I'm like, <sighs> like, well. for, like for like eight hours in like one place. No, I don't want to do that. You know, if someone was like, hey, man, do you want to come have a fucking awesome time at this place? I'd be like, I'm offended that you asked me. Like yeah. you should just brought. Do you want to go work on it? Do you want to go make a movie together? Yeah. Yeah. I want to do that. I think the the purpose of this conversation is to get you to evaluate your state of being constantly and ask yourself, if you feel guilty, is it warranted or are you playing into the ideals of someone else or a story you created about your life that is no longer true? And that's what we want for you. We want you to decide like, Hey, Am I warranted in my guilt? Am I, have I not worked out for like two weeks? Do I not count any of my calories? And do I like not feel satisfied with how I look right now? Well, then maybe you should feel guilty. But if you feel guilty and it's 
something that's been programmed into you and you become self-aware and you understand that, you know what, like this is just me enjoying myself and it's in complete alignment with who I want to be, then let that shit go. Absolutely, man. I think the question you always have to ask yourself, strip away all the context of what you know to be true or what you should be doing. If you are not enjoying yourself and having a good time and you're not doing things that excite you, then that's, that's what you need to be asking yourself. Mm-hmm. That's when you need to make a change. If you are doing things that are for someone else and you feel guilty because of that, but it's not making you feel better or benefiting your life, get rid of those things. Continually break down that guilt. Remember, guys, to, you know, last thing that, that I want to say, mm-hmm. we like it's so important. Dude, you're going to die. <laughs> and I mean, that, dude, this is great news. You and you and you and oh, me, we're, we're going to die. die. We are going to die. Maybe so, like now or maybe in an hour <clears throat> or maybe in like 40 years. Who knows? But it's going to happen eventually. So you should stop feeling guilty and just live a good life. Feel good. Help people. Hell yeah. Yeah. One final thing is that like, we're not saying don't do things that are uncomfortable. Okay. Cause we want, you, this is all part of your identity that you built out, right? Like if you say, I want to have six pack abs, for example, like if you want that, cool, that's what you want. No one's going to question you about like what you want for your life. If you want that though, and you're like, you know what? Like, I don't really want to work out. Well, you've created in your blueprint in your mind the vision that you want to create. And you're actually going to feel better about yourself when you're embodying the identity of actually doing the things to get a six pack. Okay. Like exercise, like counting your calories, like eating healthy foods, like all of these things are things you want to actualize in your life. And that's what leads to fulfillment. So we're not saying don't do things that are uncomfortable. We're just saying become self-aware and make sure you're not feeling guilty for bullshit reasons. Boo!